Good morning to you. This is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. Another adventure. It's 38 degrees in Central Texas this morning at 9.09 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I am going, believe it or not, this will be a surprise to you people that have subscribed for a while. I'm going to go do my walking at Walmart because it's too cold or else I'll go to Lowe's. I'm not sure which. Actually, Walmart's a little better. You've got more stuff to look at while you're walking. But it is a little cool here this morning. It's supposed to be in the middle 60s this afternoon. And then a couple of days later, it'll be lows in the 50s and highs in the mid 70s and once we get past probably the second or third week of february then winter in texas will pretty much be or in central texas will be pretty much over also coming up in february in austin texas is the rv and boat show at the convention center in austin texas for those of you that live in this area and i believe it starts on thursday february the 16th and goes through the 19th it's four days it starts thursday afternoon all day friday all day saturday and i think all day sunday but anyway i'll go there and do a video probably if it's not too crowded and I can find a place to park. It only costs five bucks to get in and, and see the stuff. And it might be fun because they do have a lot of RVs. I'm not too interested in boats. But the RV show is uh, probably be pretty interesting. Give me a chance to see some new stuff. So I'll probably do that. And uh, But you know, I was thinking yesterday reading my comments and thinking about RVing and going camping in the Prius and all that. You know, I think particularly for people that are retired or retiring, look at life as an adventure. You know what I mean? You know, pull yourself out of your rut, get away from TV and, uh, you know, go see the particularly the western U.S. Now, you people that live in the east, I've never been much in the east. Uh, you know, the most visited national park in the national park system is the Smoky Mountains National Park. But I think that's because it's so close to very large metropolitan areas, whereas Yellowstone, Yosemite, and some of the others, Grand Canyon, you've got to you got to want to be there, you know. So having said that, but again, for me, traveling in a, you know, pulling an RV or going camping in my Prius, it's just the adventure, you know. That, I, I boil it down to that. I mean, why do I want to go? Why do I want to put myself through that misery, I guess? You know, why, why, why disrupt your uh, daily routine to go RVing? You know, why not just lay on the couch and let the world go by? Well, I could have done that, but I didn't. I didn't choose that path. I have chosen another path for me. And that was Longhorn Caverns that we just passed. I worked there part-time years ago as a cave guide. Anyway, for you new guys, let's see, this is January the 27th, 2017. Again, it's about a little after 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And for you new guys, my name is Rusty. My channel is Rusty78609. And uh, I talk about full-time RVing because I did it. I pulled a travel trailer primarily for about 20 plus years. And now I go camping in a Toyota Prius 2013 Package 2. And I've done that for about four years. And uh, I do it, I don't know, four or five times a year for a week or two or three. Depends. And if you're interested in either one of those, RVing or car camping, go to my channel homepage and check out the playlist because there's a lot of tips there, that stuff that I learned the hard way that will help you, particularly for car camping. You know, RVing is, you know, you can probably watch a jillion videos about that. And that's another thing. Doing the YouTube videos has opened up a whole new world, basically, for me. 
And I like it. I like the, all the comments and stuff. It forces me to to do something, to be a little outgoing, I guess. And uh, anyway, I've got my green tea in my little stainless steel container, and I've got my dark chocolate almond. Oh, that's good. Anyway, uh, life is an adventure, folks, if you make it one. It's a shame you gotta wait till you retire. I'm not too sure. Well, you can do, you can do some really neat things with limited time off. In other words, let's just say the great American dream is Monday through Friday, or excuse me, five days a week, eight to five, whether it's Monday through Friday or not, who knows. But usually it's five days a week, eight hours a day approximately. So it gives you a little time. My oldest boy, he gets home in the evenings, he takes his dogs out, he, even though he's, he lives on nine acres, but he takes his dogs and they go, he, has, he exercises his dogs. He really takes care of his animal, he really does. And uh, they go over by Canyon Lake and watch the sun set in the evening and he rides his bicycle and gets his exercise and I think that's good because he's in his early 40s. <coughs> And, uh, you know, if you start forming good habits in the early years, it's pretty easy to maintain them in the later years because they have become habits. They are good habits. You know, it's just as easy to form a good habit as it is a bad habit. In fact, you can train a bad habit and get you a good habit. But this is Park Road 4 in Central Texas for you new guys. It's a windy little road not very heavily traveled at all as you can see and uh, it's in a remote area of Texas this area it's near Inks Lake State Park but I like it I like Central Texas I could have picked any place I could live in Arizona New Mexico Nevada it didn't matter to me I mean I chose this primarily because I guess, I mean, even though I don't go visit my family often at all, uh, it's just something about the unit, the family unit, I guess. I mean, I don't know, you just don't want to be so, I, I know there are families, particularly military families, that, you know, go years without seeing each other, so, for several months for sure, but that's, uh, that's what that life is all about. But that's why I didn't move into New Mexico. And I know Texas. You know, Texas is my home. I mean, I, I was born and raised here in South Texas on a little farm in South Texas. And I, I, I know Texas. I mean, I, I know it. I mean, I know I've lived in East Texas. I've lived in West Texas. I've lived in South Texas. And I've spent some time in North Texas. And now I'm in Central Texas. So I've been all over the state. What would be my favorite area right where I am? I do like West Texas out around Alpine, Fort Davis, Marfa, Marathon. Those areas out there are very nice in the Davis Mountains. It is extremely scenic. It's got a beautiful year-round climate. And if it wasn't so remote, I'd live there. I did live there for a while near Alpine, Alpine, Texas. I did live in East Texas too. I lived in Nacogdoches, Texas. And uh, spent some time up around in uh, North Texas. I was at uh, Wichita Falls for a while, Vernon. Uh, spent some time in Abilene. Went up to, uh, I was in Amarillo for a while. Not long, a few weeks. It's a windy area, windy. You get Amarillo, Lubbock. You get, you get dust storms in there. And then you get the rain mixed with it, with it, and it'll rain mud. But, but Texas is a huge state, man. You know, it's uh, from El Paso to Brownsville, probably 800 miles or more, 900. From, El, from Brownsville to Amarillo, it's probably a thousand miles or close. Yeah, so you can say you live in Texas, and uh, 
that's not saying a whole lot. Better say what part. But if you're going to be a global traveler, like some of the expats do, they go live in different countries. Expatriates. Pick a climate. You know, pick a climate. Don't worry about a country so much or a city. Just pick a climate that you really think you'd, you'd enjoy, and then pick a pick a pick a hotel somewhere. Don't worry about the city or the area. Just you know, you know, pick a, a smaller target. Don't, don't pick a country. If you pick a, you know, somebody said they were going to go live in the United States. Pretty big target. But life is at an adventure, and I am on it. Does it matter whether I go in a travel trailer, a motorhome, or a Prius? Not a bit. Not a bit. The difference with going in a travel trailer as opposed to a Prius is the maneuverability of the unit one, two, setting it up, to, is, is, you know, but, you know, when you get your RV, your travel trailer, or, or motorhome set up, you know, once you get all your, get it leveled, you know, if, even if you're boondocking, you know, once you get it leveled up and, you know, get your stuff set out inside, you know, you're getting ready to set up camp for a few days, weeks, or whatever, you know, you don't really want to move to, you know, you know and moving's not that easy. It takes a while. Looks like we got here just in time for the parade on Highway 281. That's probably all the cars in Burnett, Texas right there that you just saw. You just saw every car in the county. <laughs> Shit. Uh, it's not very hop very heavily populated here. It's not. This just happens to be a fairly busy thoroughfare because it it's a four lane. It runs... Uh, well, you got Fort Hood near Colleen, Texas, and this is a feeder to Fort Hood, which is the largest military base in the United States, and it's about 80 miles from where I am right now. They got about 60,000 permanent soldiers there. Big, big, big base. I've been on it a few times. We used to go there for physicals. Don't need to do that anymore. If this highway goes right on into San Antonio and points south. Central Texas, USA. You know, and I got viewers from all over the world. And I think about that every time I do a video. I think about people that do videos in India. I don't know if you can walk, I don't know that, you, that YouTube channels are are available in uh, China. I think they block it. I know North Korea does. They don't let anything in. That isolation of the North Koreans by their own choice is going to be their Achilles heel. That's going to hurt them. But the decision is, has been made. The Class B is in the queue. I've been looking at them, and the more I look at them, the more I like them. I don't like the gas mileage at all. Ten miles to the gallon is about all you can expect. There are some small class C's that get around 12 or so with a smaller engine. The V10, no matter what it's in, you like that? The V10 engine is just not going to get more than 10 miles a gallon. I, it, it just ain't going to happen. I think you could just let it sit and idle and it would, wouldn't get any more. That's my direction. And you know, if it doesn't work out, if I don't like it, I can always change. You know, 
because when you buy a used unit like I'll be buying, you know, you've already taken most of the depreciation out of the unit. And so if it loses much value at all, it won't be much. So I won't be taking it. If I decide to change my mind and go back to an RV, or a travel trailer rather, then it wouldn't be much of a transition at all. Probably just trade it and be back to a travel trailer in a day or two. And I'm still, I've looked at casitas and scamps, the little fiber class travel trailers, but man, I don't know. You know, just put solar on it. But I don't know. I don't really want to tow anything. That's, you know, I just want to be. I want actually what I'm looking for is a king size Prius. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want an RV, a motorhome that gets 50 miles a gallon and plenty of space with a shower and all that stuff. So if anybody knows of one, let me know. <laughs> you know, even if you, if you can get a motor, you know, there are motorhomes that get around 20, but mostly they're diesels. And I don't know much about diesel engines, so I don't want to get into that. Uh, I know it can be expensive, even though you get better gas mileage with a Prius, I mean, excuse me, with a diesel, uh, you pay for it with maintenance costs. With an oil change on a diesel costs a ton of money. Uh, and whenever you have mechanical issues with a diesel, uh, it can be expensive. So it's kind of a catch-22. I think I'm going to go to Walmart today. Marble Falls, Texas, population 6,077. 44 degrees now, coming right on up. I could have stayed at home and been walking around 10 o'clock. But I wanted to get out and about. I like, I like doing a a little driving video particularly for you folks from other countries and other parts of the USA let you see what Central Texas looks like even though I travel the same roads a lot uh, it is in Central Texas you know think about living in New York City in an apartment you know what, what would this look like to someone there you know, this would probably look like the great outdoors. And it is. It is. It is the great outdoors. I mean, there's wide open spaces on both sides of the road. Vacant land as far as you can see in every direction. Except straight ahead, there's a city. But could I live in a large city? If I had to. You know, you can do what you got to do. Would I want to? No. No, no, no. I did that. The largest city I ever lived in for any length of time was San Antonio, Texas, and at the time I lived there, the whole metro area was probably 300,000. Now it's close to a million or more. So, but, uh, but even then, I thought it was a busy, busy place. It took me an hour to drive from my home into downtown and work, to go to work, and then because of the traffic, I hated it. But I did it because that was what I had to do. You do what you got to do when you got to do it. You see what you want to see and you hear what you want to hear. And that is a fact. I love it. It's a lower area up here. I do, I do, I do. Here I come in the wallet. Let's go down to first entrance. Let's see if there's any snowbirds camping nope none doesn't look like gasoline at walmart here today is a buck 97 for unleaded regular unleaded no i don't see any snowbirds out here in the parking lot that doesn't mean there aren't some people sleeping in cars but you know it's awful good at walmart to let people do that now not all of them do you get into some of the resort areas and they will not let you camp at their Walmarts. And it's not because Walmart doesn't want to, it's because they'll have a city ordinance that does not allow you to do that because they want you to stay at the RV parks, the motels, and other places where they make some more money. 
It's all about money. We live in a marketing economy. It's all about moving money from your pocket to somebody else's all the time. Just like moving my money to somebody else's pocket if I buy a uh, Class B or when. I still think it's a good idea for me. I do. I mean, even though I've got some reservations because, you know, the layout's going to be different. It'll be like living in a, a different home. And it'll be like moving to a different, a new home, actually. Totally. And, uh, you know, I've gotten used to my travel trailer. I got all my stuff in place. In fact, I've got so much stuff. I bet I could haul out a damn truckload of junk. Isn't that terrible? Live a 26-foot travel trailer and you got it full of junk. That's sick, isn't it? I get, we just can't help pack rat and stuff. Anyway, I'm here at Walmart. I'm thinking to go do my walking for about an hour, I think. So, guys, thank all you subscribers. I appreciate it. And thank all you people that fan fund or support my channel. I do sincerely appreciate that. I really do. It, it, every time I see one, I just... I don't know, it just gives me a funny feeling that somebody cares enough to do that. <laughs> it does. I mean, you know, I'm living okay. I got food and refrigerator in places, so I'm not starving, but it does help. So having said that, guys, this is Rusty78609 from Central Texas saying, thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Take deep breaths. It does help relieve stress. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Anyway, and stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk for exercise. I'm fixing to go do it. You know, if you form good habits, you know, like exercise and, and a good diet, you know, life can be pretty damn enjoyable. Don't eat out much. You know, health is uh, basically exercise and diet and rest, of course. you got to get a good night's sleep. But having said all that, guys, y'all have a very enjoyable day. I will. And uh, adios from Central Texas. Bye-bye.